didn't include plumbing or electric, but they were the cheapest. Don't have remodeling regret? Call Mosby Building Arts. Mosby plans ahead, so there are no surprises later on. Mosby Building Arts, the right remodeling company. This is Jay Delsing. My show, Golf with Jay Delsing, can be heard every Sunday morning from 8 to 10 right here on 101 ESPN. And as always, it's brought to you by Darty Business Solutions. Tune in for the latest from the PGA Tour, the LPGA Tour, our local golf scene, and much, much more. That's Golf with Jay Delsing featuring the biggest names in golf every Sunday morning from 8 to 10 on 101 ESPN. Sports source in St. Louis that matters. WXOS, WXOS HD1 East St. Louis, 101 ESPN. Right back to the balloon party with Tim McKernan live from the Car Shield Studio on 101 ESPN. Yes, yes. Welcome in. It is Balloon Party on 101 ESPN. My name is Tim McKernan, and I'm joined by a gentleman named Jackson Burkett wearing his Run TMA hoodie today. Yeah, I haven't busted out this one in a while. Well, you were sporting that uh, suit yesterday. You were looking all GQ smooth. It was like Ocean's Eleven in here. Yeah, I wore that outfit for so long yesterday because after work yesterday I went to babysit my nieces so I didn't have time to go home so I was in that get up for a long time and let me tell you your nieces were impressed you're like a banker you're like a Wall Street type Gordon Gecko oh no did I do it again by touching the mic all right I'm gonna switch mics all right uh, yeah, that that uh, let me tell you, I'm a fan of a comfortable dress because formal dress wear for that long was was not for me personally. Is my mic on? Yes. I don't hear it in my headphones. Because uh, I turned off the, the buzzer. Got it. Thank you. Turned off the buzzer, <laughs> as it's known. Uh, it is Balloon Party 101 ESPN. Tim McKernan, Jackson Burkett with you for the next hour here on the program. Uh, we got uh, blues and hurricanes coming up tonight. Jackson, he's still holding out hope. What's the number on money, Puck? 0.3%. Oh, boy. Pre-game 6 p.m. on 101 ESPN as the Blues try to uh, hold on. Kings won last night. Yeah. Off chance that that would be a collapse. That's gone. It's, it's uh, solely VGK at this moment. And we've got action going on at Augusta National in super windy conditions. Lots of big numbers out there. The last player to win a major was Brian Harmon. And uh, Brian Harmon right now is, as Iggy Strode on TMA calls him, high human, nine over par. So uh, the cut line for those of you who are in Masters Pools, Daily Fantasy, uh, you're gambling just in general because of the windy conditions at Augusta. It is right now a coin flip between the cut being plus three or plus four. And plus four continues to edge up as far as a likelihood. I'm getting this from datagolf.com. And uh, and I would imagine plus five is going to start having some more likely percentage of probability than plus two because it is windy as all get out. It's my understanding it's windy as all get out in St. Louis today as well. And looking across the street south toward uh, the car dealership, across the street from Hubbard Radio St. Louis. I see the trees moving aggressively, Jackson. So yeah. I know you're playing St. Louis today. Uh, you might you might be over par, which I know is very rare for you. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of uh, kind of abbreviated finishes. Yeah. Trying to keep that ball low yeah. under the wind. Let it run a little bit. You're going to have to club up, but you check your pride at the door. Well, I always say the following, when it's breezy, Swing easy. And that's my credo along with penny saved, penny earned. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm in deep. I'm in deep. Clark W. Griswold, 1980. I'm going to say 82 to give me 81 and 83. Almost positive it's 83, but I'll look it up. Well, because European vacation, I'm going to give that. I'm going to give it 86 to give me 85 and 87. So we got National Lampoon's Vacation, the original one. Clark W. Griswold, Beverly D'Angelo, and the wonderful Anthony Michael Hall. Indeed. And uh, John Candy with a uh, great little cameo. Really well, great. Kind of a role, actually. Uh, 1983 for the original Vacation. So I'll ship that one. 1985 for European. So I ship that one. Go Christmas? Uh, I'm going to go I'm gonna go 90 to give me 89 and 91. 89 is the answer. Nice. And then uh, Vegas 
I can just give you the, the give it to you, but I, I might as well. I, I don't know if I should say 97 to give me 96, 98. I'm going to say 97 to give me 96, 98, and I think it's 97 on the nose. Eight years after Christmas vacation, Vegas vacation, 1997. Yeah, then we're going to just be doing media and year trivia and leaderboard updates at Augusta today, and Jackson's going to prepare you for the Hurricanes. That's essentially what we've got for you on Balloon Party, along with the Little Piddles Friday Six Shooter. Woo, 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 woo. Um, is Anthony Michael Paul your favorite Rusty? Yes. Yeah, me too. Galecki. Not bad, but... What about the tall guy in European vacation who wore the beret on the Eiffel Tower and the young French lass he was trying to court looked and then giggled and said, Vusty. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I don't I'm, know his name. I think that was his only role. Yeah, he was really tall. I, yeah, I think I'm, he does a one-hour midday show now in Tulsa. <laughs> and he's, he's kicking our ass in the ratings. He is. Um, if you look at the numbers. I'm not a big European vacation fan. Like, I love Christmas in the original. The original's my favorite. Not a big European All right, well, fan. how about this? Uh, Guten Tag. My family and I are looking for sex. No doubt. Banger of a line. Not to mention Beverly D'Angelo was uh, there, a gentleman approached her in the bathtub. Wild scene there in Europe. But uh, I, I don't I, think that happened. Oh, didn't she thought it was, it was Clark, Clark W. Griswold who oh, was in the Clark, bathtub? Clark thought it was. I don't know what kind of films you're watching, but you know I'm a family man, and I know my six-year-old and two-year-old listen to this show, and I don't know how I'm going to explain that to uh, my children. It's the cost of trying to, you know, not pay the three dollars for the rental. Uh, you're right. Clark was in the bathtub, thinking Beverly D'Angelo was walking in. Instead, it was a hairy gentleman, much like the one you uh, met in Cooperstown at your Airbnb that we discussed yesterday. That's correct. Except that was a lady. And right, and I don't know stuff. why you called it a guy, because the core of the story was that the person had hairy armpits. Right, right. Well, well we, you know what? We celebrate the decision to not shave your underarms. Thank you. When looking at the cardinal attendance issues. I nice segue. Thank you. Do you think a major reason is the price of the ballpark, and for the first time that I can remember, has eclipsed the interest on the on-field product that, in combination with the difficulty to watch the games at home, has led fans to find other forms of entertainment. If that theory is correct, would Arenado and Goldie hitting it hard really turn that around? What I'm asking is, does it need to be a young core that comes in and brings, uh, the, brings the fans back out in a major way, or are we finally at the point where baseball simply doesn't feed the interest of younger folks, which by extension affects parents of said young folks, and so on and so forth? Wow, I mean, it's one question, but yet it's it's a thirty part essay. There's a lot in there. I mean, holy crap! Did you did you write this question while you were hosting TMA with me this morning? No, I wrote this last night while wow, babysitting okay. for my nieces. Okay, I was not as into the Crudes. Uh, the, the, was that a show? Uh, the movie. They were also watching uh, Trolls Three. I, I was like, all right, I'm gonna work on this six shooter. Got it. Um, Bringing in the price is something we haven't discussed when talking about Cardinal attendance. Uh, lack of interest in the team, the television situation, the crime downtown. Those were three mm -hmm. uh, talking points that we had earlier this week. But with regard to um, the price, I think that's material to the conversation. So I tip my cap for, for bringing that up. I always, um, you know, I, 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 I oftentimes quote uh, Chevy Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase? Chev Chevrolet Chase. Correct. Uh, Technology it, and stuff. That's it, correct. It, uh, at the pool in 1983's National Lampoon's Vacation, when I say uh, I'm in deep, I'm in deep. But another uh, quote that I utilize is Timothy Oliphant in 2003's Best Picture, Girl Next Door, which you disagree with on goodorbad.com. That's right and why I'm pulling my investment, uh -huh. in which he says, always make sure the juice is worth the squeeze. Right. And I've actually lived by that for about 21 years now since seeing that best picture. And I think people are going, I wouldn't mind taking my family to the game, or I wouldn't mind going to the game with my significant other and my, my buddies. Yeah. But God, when you factor in the parking and how much it's going to cost to get a few beers or get hot dogs and sodas or whatever, uh, it's not worth it. Right. The juice and the squeeze analytic. Right. And the ever-growing amount of other forms of entertainment. You want to go back. brings it into that. So I don't think that, you, that to, talk, to finalize the question, then I'll get out of the way. But uh, so I don't think that, like, if Mason Wynn and Jordan Walker and Victor Scott and Nolan Gorman go off versus Goldschmidt and Arenado, I don't think that's necessarily going to 
substantially change it unless they just go off to the point that the team is winning crazily. I saw the article in the Post-Dispatch this morning on the ratings and how Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes uh, and their run through LSU and UConn and then the loss to South Carolina crushed the Cardinals in the ratings. And the highest rated Cardinal game was last Saturday against the Marlins. I don't think it's a coincidence that at that time they had won four of five. Mm -hmm. And so maybe it spoke to, you can also say it was a Saturday. It's also a beautiful day. Well, then, so if anything, that that would say then people aren't necessarily at home. Right. I wasn't in town. I have no idea what the weather was like last Saturday in St. Louis. But what I, I bring that up, and this might be just a, an outlier, but I bring it up because people might have gone, okay, they're winning. I'm going to start paying attention. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think people would necessarily care if it's Goldschmidt or Arnato who lead them to winning. Uh, I just think that uh, people want them to win. Right. And they look at this roster and they go, this isn't a winning roster. It's a, it's a, it's a winning, it could win the, San, the National League Central, assuming that the Pittsburgh Pirates have not reconvened Willie Stargell for the We Are Family run, that this is just kind of an average team without a lot of personality. And people go, that's eh, not worth my dollars to spend them at the ballpark or it's not with my time to watch them on television or to go get another television platform right. and provider to right. make sure I'm watching them. Right. Yeah, totally. The fact that you can't just go home for a lot of people, flip on the Cardinal game real easily, watch it for a couple hours, enjoy it. The fact that's so difficult sometimes doesn't work. And in, in case where you don't have the cable subscription, you're blacked out here in St. Louis. You're that like, app is problematic. Uh, certainly. Yeah. It makes you sign in about every other time you go on there, which is just nice. a lovely process. Either way, there's so many other forms of entertainment that you might not want to go through the headache of either getting on there or if the team is middling, you might not have the interest not only to watch the game at home, but then to go to the game, like you said, parking and beers and food. And if you got a family, how much that can cost. And it's, and if the young people also aren't clamoring to go to the game, why drag them there? If it's just going to cost you more money. And I think that's a real issue is that the younger fans aren't as engaged. Uh, guys, it is a problem here, but they're still doing relatively well uh, relative to the rest of the league. Absolutely. No question about it. Uh, of course, again, small sample size, but yeah, the Cardinals are, but here is the thing. And and, and, the, and the person who sent that text in, I don't know if they have a name, just uh, 314, uh, and sent in that data. They are fourth in, in Major League Baseball. That's accurate. That's That speaks to the loyalty of the Cardinal fans, but also accurate is the following. The attendance for, I believe it was the Zach Wheeler start on Tuesday night against Sonny Gray, was the so the prized free agent of the offseason makes right. his debut was the lowest attendance for a Cardinal game. It was either that or the Monday game. One of the two this week was the lowest attendance for a weeknight Cardinal game since Bush Stadium 3 opened. So that being fourth in Major League Baseball, that's that's a baseball conversation. The lowest attendance, and it was both both games, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday was a day game, so it's a, it's an outlier relative to this conversation of night attendance. Um, that is that's speaking more to a Cardinal or St. Louis conversation. So um, that's that's where Jackson's question comes from. It is 10:16 in St. Louis to make sure that I attempt to stay on track with the clocks here today. Uh, we'll take a break here. We have more of the six shooter. Uh, Tiger Woods, I believe, just birdied number three. Ooh, long par three. Long uh, par three. No, I, maybe then am I thinking of four? Four, oh, four is the short par four. Nope. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh. I'm so exhausted by this guy. Where is Rocky? Oh, where is Bradford? Where is Marsh? I think part the third is the 204 yard part three, or it's either the really short part four, the shortest part four on the course. Either way, the man birdied it. Impressive, no matter what. Tim. Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, the cut Tiger right now looking good to keep that streak alive with regard to the weekend. Meanwhile, if you want to watch professional golfers struggle, today is your day at Augusta National. The wind creating carnage. Mm hmm in southeastern Georgia. This program is called Balloon Party and it airs on 101 ESPN. ESPN is everywhere. Wherever you go, we go. The 101 ESPN app in your app store or Google Play. Get your comprehensive evaluation of your AC system for $79 at SwissAirSTL.com. 
And now, the big down payment. <laughs> Not today, mister. Who are you? The down payment busters. At Missouri's number one new Mitsubishi dealer, frankly to Mitsubishi in the automotive outlet in Bridgeton. Every vehicle is just $29 down. 29 bucks at Frank Lita Mitsubishi. That's absurd. Can I blast him now? Uh, let's finish the commercial first. People of Missouri, you get cash back. $3,000 cash back. All you need is a job and 29 bucks and get up to $3,000 cash back. Every vehicle is just $29 down at Missouri's number one new Mitsubishi dealer, Frank Lita. Frank Lita Mitsubishi. In the automotive outlet in Bridgeton. YesLita.com. YesLita.com. Number one claim based on the National Mitsubishi Report as of 4 one 2024 New 24-outlander, 39-1, 29 down, 720 a month for 72 months at 10% APR. Plus tax, tax title, 3000 on 2023 PHEV to qualified buyers. Save big money in your next landscaping project now at Menards. Menards is your destination for concrete landscaping blocks. We have the largest in-stock selection ready to take home today. Plus, you can get free estimates fast with our landscape design programs in-store and on Menards.com. Stop in today to check out our landscaping options and for great deals going on in our garden center now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Boys, exciting times here right now with sports. Coming down the stretch in the NHL, coming down the stretch in the NBA. So many great games left to bet on. That's why you have to head over to FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Because, Gary, right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets guaranteed. Yeah, Jamie, that's 150 bucks, win or lose. Bet on everything from slap shots to home runs to slam dunks. All on an app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use. Playoffs, as you said, about to start for basketball and hockey. Should be a fun time. What are you guys waiting for? Visit FanDuel.com slash fast. Again, FanDuel.com slash fast. Then you can make your first bet an automatic win. You can cash in. Then you can play all the odds, the player props, the same game parlays. All at FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Must be 21 or older and present in Illinois. First online real money wager. Only $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued is not withdrawable. Bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Seat. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling Bromco 1 800 Gambler. Get ready for more United Football League action as your St. Louis Battlehawks return home on Saturday, April 20th to take on the Memphis Showboat. Get your tickets at theufl.com slash tickets. This rivalry is about a whole lot more than just barbecue. The Battlehawks look to protect home turf and send the Showboats back down river. Start your tailgate grills early. Kickoffs at 11.30 a.m. The St. Louis Battlehawks hosting the Memphis Showboats Saturday, April 20th. Get your tickets at theufl.com slash tickets. We've got your chance to score free tickets to see comedian Tom Segura. I want to see your blood pressure spike, man. Live at the fabulous Fox Theater two nights on Friday, October 18th and Saturday, October 19th. One of the biggest names in comedy, Tom Segura is returning to St. Louis this October at the fabulous Fox Theater. Get all the ticket details and get entered to win those free tickets for the show right now, either at 101ESPN.com or on your 101 mobile app. Wrap yourself in. This is the Balloon Party with Tim McKernan and Action Jackson on 101 ESPN. Driven by Munganast and Burkhard, Alton Toyota. Welcome back to Balloon Party 101 ESPN. My name is Tim McKernan. That's Jackson Burkett. And uh, Jackson's in the midst of this Little Piddles Friday six shooter. Uh, and arguing with himself over whether or not number three at Augusta is a par three or four. That argument will continue throughout the day here on 101 ESPN, I would imagine. But Jackson has provided value during the commercial break with a fun fact on the vacation series of films, something I had never heard before. Uh, we were talking about our favorite Rusties. That's of course, right. Anthony Michael Hall was in the first one. Uh, Jonathan Galicki in the Christmas, third Christmas yeah. vacation and the gentleman, Ethan, Ethan, I can't think of it. There's an Ethan. He was in can't hardly wait with the delightful Jennifer love Hewitt. Uh, it was Nick Papa Giorgio, Ethan, Ethan Emery. Emery, but we couldn't think of the name of Vusty from European vacation. And listen to this fun fact. You will, you'll remember where you were when you heard this. And I've definitely heard this before, but I forgot because I always talk about the European vacation, Rusty being very tall, and a texter actually on the uh, Air Comfort Service text line said I bet it was great bait auto detail. I can't remember who it was, but I've heard it before. I always forget. It's Jason Lively, brother of Blake Lively. 
Blake Lively, who is the lovely wife of Ryan Reynolds. Correct. Uh, and I said, well, they must be, he must be like 20 years older than her. That doesn't make sense. And then Jackson looks it up. He's 56. She's 36, 20 years older. But they are indeed siblings. They are. They are. Like from the same mother and father, not step siblings. Yep. Same. They are. Uh, yep. Wow. Yeah. What a fun fact. Isn't that Jackson, crazy? Jackson, you, you've already had a great show. Now everything else at this point, it's just it's cherries on top. Agreed. And also number three at Augusta is the short par four. So I was right. Four is the par three. That's like 240. Very yards. challenging, tough uh, back right pin location yesterday. Uh, they put the pins on the right today to benefit those who draw the ball like P. Reed and, and DeChambeau as they're sure sitting there going, oh, God, no. Jackson, question number two, little piddle six shooter. So I want to get into the Shohei Otani situation. There was a bunch of news that came out yesterday, including a bunch of findings with the FBI. You're just trying to activate me here. Did you write this one last night? Yeah. This was number two last night. That's right. Wow. That's right. Something else. Well, because I, you heard me go on a tangent this morning on TMA, so I thought you were just like, I'll just I'll just throw Tim a fastball. I'll Wainwright Jeter him. <laughs> Groove him one. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I did write this yesterday, but uh, you're talking about it today on TMA. Just confirmed that this is a red meat topic. For me, it is. Yeah. I think a lot of people are very interested in this. I don't think as many people are interested in it now that it looks like he's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I still think uh, there's some detractors to what you just said. I think there are plenty of people who, despite some of the findings by uh, the FBI, still believe that Shohei Otani could be guilty of some of these. Right, uh, which, is my, which is what gets me on tilt. So, so, so I'll, I'll take it from here, even though you have not uh, I've just been stepping all over you because you're finding Blake Lively fun facts over there. But uh, here is my core issue on it. And this is more of a macro topic. The accusations. I want, I want you to listen to this. You might, it might be worth writing it down, honestly, or just jotting it into your, uh, your phone and, and all, going back to it. The accusations oft times unfounded are louder than the acquittals. The accusations oft times unfounded are louder than the acquittals. So Shoy Otani, that topic, front page news. News, not just sports page, news a couple of weeks ago. Now you actually have the entire complaint levied against his interpreter, $16 million now. He, he quadded it up. <laughs> well, thought it was $4 million, now it's $16 million. Cubit. The complaint, here is an excerpt from it. Uh, as noted above, this is from the federal government, I and or members of the investigative team that I've spoken with have reviewed an extraction of the Misuhara phone, that's his interpreter's last name, Ipe Misuhara, uh, which contained voluminous messages between victim A and Misuhara in Japanese. An HSI special agent who is fluent and native speaker of the Japanese language reviewed approximately 9,700 pages of text message between victim A i.e. Otani and Mizuhara between 2020 and 2024. Jackson, I'm going to say it one more time because I feel like you're looking at Blake Lively picture. Oh, I wrote it down. Okay. 9,700, not text, but pages of texts <laughs> between 2020 and 2024. And based on the review, here is the following conclusion. There was no discussion of sports betting between Mizuhara and Otani in his phone. There was no discussion between Mizuhara and Otani that mentioned bookmakers 1, 2, or 3, associate 1, or the name account holder of the account. And conclusion 3, there was no discussion between Mizuhara and victim A of odds, wagering, or any other reference which might indicate victim A's knowledge of Mizuhara's gambling with bookmaker 1. Yet there were 9,700 not texts, but pages of texts. And how much attention is that getting? Uh, very little. In comparison to what we had two weeks ago. Which was a lot. And so uh, I understand, and I want to make this clear. So this isn't me chastising audience members or the public, uh, because I recognize, you know, that the average person or even a, a wealthy person checks their bank accounts or if they have business accounts, their business accounts on a regular basis. I know I do. I mean, I, I'm da I overdo it. I'm daily, but I'm just such a nerd that I'm checking and, you know, 
software, Quicken software, going through, you know, something as outdated as Quicken software, but for me, I like it, to look at bank accounts and so on and so forth. When you get to a level, you oftentimes have an accountant who handles that and or a financial advisor who then manages the money. In Otani's case, my thought process from the get-go on this is this is believable. I'm not saying he's innocent. I'm not saying he's guilty. I'm just making the observation that the accusations are much louder than the acquittal. And in this case, I realize he wasn't acquitted, but this is the document and 9,700 texts, and they didn't even talk about gambling one time. Why? Because he's in a nation in which he is not, uh, you know, this is not his first language. Uh, as crazy as it may sound, Ms. O'Hara is viewed as his brother. That's what his angel's teammates said, uh, his translator, and he entrusted this money. And you go, how in the world is that possible? He's covering for him or the federal government, Major League baseball are getting together and you know when would the federal government ever lie and they're covering it up and so this is all everybody's in on it to keep Otani's image pristine and not have him and baseball shamed because you have a Pete Rose situation with the biggest international star of the game has likely ever seen uh, whether you want to go Ichiro or okay. Otani yeah. so with that all said uh, I just, uh, I don't, I still don't know, but I do believe that it's possible. And I've thought that from the get go, but I don't know what I do know is these details that came out yesterday are not receiving uh, a one, one hundredth of the attention as what took place two weeks ago, which was never an accusation that Otani gambled, just people reading between the lines. And then it became a talking point and then his name and reputation was slandered. So from that standpoint, I just want to call attention to that. Anything else? Yeah, I just think anytime you have a situation like this where you get an incomplete picture, but there are, you know, some might call it shady or some, you know, details aren't filled in, some holes aren't filled in there. People are quick to be like, well, look at them, you know, guilty, guilty, guilty. Look at this. And then anything after that will just be blamed the cover up. Now, that's not to say that there right. has. That's there, right. You're there, right about the cover up thing. Now this is a cover up. Right. I'm like, OK, I'm anxious to see what people say. And then, of course, it's like, well, it's a cover up. Right. And so you can't win. Exactly. So and that's not to say that there haven't been major level cover ups in American and world culture across history. That's not to say that. So it's not like anybody saying that is out of their mind. But when information then comes in. And people just won't, when the court of public opinion has finalized their ruling, information, even such that would completely, you know, acquit Shoyotani, just say that he's innocent. It's like, ah, well, you know, whether it's a burner phone or it's this, that, or the right. other thing, or, you know, he's just taking the fall, you can't win. You can't win. The only thing Otani at this point is looking for is, hey, the, the, FBI and the courts saying you're good. That's all because you're never going to win the court of public opinion. They've already made up their mind. That's right. The accusations much louder than the acquittals. Your thoughts are welcome. Air Comfort Service text line 314-399-9646. Also, YouTube chat very active as always on the 101 ESPN YouTube channel. It's 1030 in St. Louis. Time check brought to you by Clarkson Jewelers. Jackson has the Little Piddles Friday six shooter. We'll have the latest from Augusta National on the other side of the break as we have some movement and we have a new leader and it's not one of the two names you heard about yesterday it's somebody other than bryson and scotty scheffler and in 2024 you have to wait until the other side of the commercial break to find out yep think about that jackson yeah. this is balloon party on 101 espn Coverage of 101 espn is presented by under law injury lawyers get jim.com Blues Hockey is on 101 ESPN. Get the inside scoop on and off the ice with the Last Minute Blues Podcast with Jamie Rivers and Donnie Fandango of 105.7 The Point. Blues opinion, talk, and speculation. It's what we do. Download the Last Minute Blues Podcast on the 101 mobile app or at 101ESPN.com. James Carlton, Carlton State Farm Insurance Agency, online at carltoninsurance.net. He is my insurance agent, and I cannot say enough good things about James Carlton and the team he has assembled with regard to their customer service. Uh, a couple members of TMA are also James Carlton clients as well, and I asked them this morning, I said, hey, what stands out to you about it? And they go, customer service. I go, man, that's it. And I think what happens with people and how they uh, get their insurance agent when they're first starting out is they just kind of inherit either their parents or they just have a buddy who's doing it. And I'm not saying that they're doing
doing a bad job. I un- I understand uh, that plenty of people can do a good job. But what I'm saying is, I think oftentimes you just kind of go along with it because you don't know that it can be better. And it's important because at the point you're going to be taking care of a family and you're insuring home, life, and auto. These are big time purchases and or when it comes to life insurance, an incredibly important thing to your family. Well, you need the best. And yeah, it might require an awkward conversation parting ways, but be with the best. And James Carlton is absolutely one of the best. That's why I'm so happy I made the switch. You should as well. Go to carltoninsurance.net. They'll do the paperwork for you. It's James Carlton of the Carlton State Farm Insurance Agency. It's golf season, and that means it's time to start betting like a pro with the world's largest sports book right at your fingertips. Circa Sports, it's sports betting the way it should be. Shop the odds on the app for every tournament. Circa Sports has high betting limits, exceptional customer service, and more. Fund and bet like a pro anywhere, anytime. It's never been easier. Get your golf bets in for every tournament. Visit CircaSports.com today. If you or someone you know may have a problem with gambling, call 1-800-GAMBLER or text ILGMB to 833-234. Auto Centers is thrilled to tell you that their Fresh Start program has just started and it runs now through the end of April. It is specifically designed to make upgrading into a new car easier and more affordable. Take advantage of some of the best deals and incentives on select new Nissan vehicles all at Auto Centers Nissan Herculaneum. They got 0% APR and payment terms all the way to 84 months, up to $5,000 off MSRP and no down payment needed. Three months of no payments they offer you. Give your wallet a break and save your tax money. As always, all new Nissans at Auto Center's Nissan Herculaneum. They come with exclusive lifetime warranty and 30-day return promises. Within 30 days, if you want to bring the vehicle back for any reason, they will refund the price, get you into something else. They don't just sell cars at Auto Center's Nissan. They create unforgettable experiences, one happy customer at a time. Visit them, autocentersnissan.com. Check them out in Herculaneum. Tell them Salter sent you. It's Auto Centers Nissan. Before you sell your home, consider your options. Hi, it's Randy Carricker, and for years now, Jamie and I have been telling you about St. Louis real estate expert Gloria Liu, owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Gloria is an expert in selling homes for the most money because she has the guarantees, the buyers, and different solutions for every type of seller. She recently provided a family multiple cash offers in minutes so they could move quickly with no showing no costly repairs and no hassles now not everyone is looking for multiple cash offers that's why gloria will sell your home at your agreed upon price or she will buy it her name says it all your home sold guaranteed realty regardless of whether you're looking for multiple cash offers or you want to utilize her guaranteed sold program to ensure you get the most money possible here's your next step call the only agent I would trust to sell my home, and that's Gloria Lou at 314-325-6888, 314-325-6888, or visit GloriaHasTheBuyers.com. Conditions to apply, Gloria and the seller must agree upon price and possession date. Hi, I'm Libby, and I'm a patient at Cardinal Glennon. With your help, Homers for Health can make a huge impact on my hospital. Please make your pledge for patients today at homersforhealth.org. Thanks for your support. Munganass St. Louis Acura and Munganass Burkhardt Alton Toyota, the place I go to get my cars, the place I would love for you to go to get your cars as well. They are online at stlouisacura.com and altontoyota.com. It's Munganass St. Louis Acura and Munganass Burkhardt Alton Toyota. Sponsored by Jim Butler Chevrolet.com. And in this corner, Jim, Jim Butler. Butler. Selection and price. Powerhouse. Trade and value. Powerhouse. Powerhouse. Together, let's drive at JimButlerChevrolet.com. From the opening drive, the balloon party, BK and Ferrario, to the fast lane and more. If you missed anything on 101 ESPN today, get caught up with all the shows and 101 podcasts at 101ESPN.com or on your 101 mobile app. Driven by Dobbs Tire and Auto Centers. 101 ESPN Sports Center. This 
is Action Jackson with a Sports Center update driven by Johnny Landoff Chevrolet and Johnny Landoff Autoplex. The Blues are back in action tonight, taking on the Carolina Hurricanes. You can catch that game right here on the home of the Blues, 101 ESPN, pregame at 6 p.m., puck drop at 7 p.m. And the Cardinals head out to the desert to take on the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch at 8.40 this evening. Steven Matz on the bump for the Redbirds. And the Knicks, will take, uh, Knicks defeated the Celtics last night, 118-109. to Jalen Brunson with 39 points. That was another Sports Center update driven by Johnny Landoff and Johnny Landoff Autoplex. See them at Landoff.com. Chevy together, we drive. Are you kidding me? This is the Balloon Party with Tim McKernan, live from the Car Shield Studio on 101 ESPN. Welcome back. It's Balloon Party 101 ESPN. My name is Tim McKernan. That's Jackson Burkett. And we have an hour of midday radio magic every day from 10 to 11 here on 101 in St. Louis and uh, the 101 ESPN YouTube channel as well. Jump on in. Uh, the water is warm. Jackson, we have a new leader at Augusta National, and his name is Max Homa. Mm-hmm. Seven under par, now tied with Bryson DeChambeau, who is not taken to the golf course. Homa is on the fifth hole and playing with Tiger Woods, uh, one of the few players who is two under par in his second round. As a matter of fact, there's only one other, and that is Cameron Young, the bomber from Wake Forest, who has finished as the bridesmaid many a time in his PGA Tour career, but has never been able to win and has been lurking in majors many a time in his PGA Tour career, uh, but has not been able to win. He is two under par. Everybody else is putting up some big numbers in some tough conditions. We now have players who are double digits over par uh, because of the wind at Augusta National. So if you're planning on watching the Masters today, you are going to see players who normally are firing at pins struggle like they're playing in U.S. Open kind of conditions uh, as far as scoring goes, except this is because of the wind and not the course setup. So there is the latest from Augusta National. Got this text in the Air Comfort Service text line, uh, and this is on the Cardinals. Tim, I went to the Cardinal game Tuesday night, and I thought I was in bizarro world. The stadium was seemingly half empty. This for a game featuring the debut and quite possibly the best pitching matchup we will see this season with Sonny Gray facing off against Zach Wheeler. Later in the game, as I'm watching Matthew Libertor bouncing pitches all over the place, I glanced up at the scoreboard scrolling league leaders with names such as O'Neill, Gallen, Weaver, and Miller atop some of the lists. So my two questions to you are the following. Number one, how long do you think it will take the DeWitts to notice John Mazalak's business model of recycling retreads will eventually turn fans and thus revenue away? And two, as we watch former Cardinals becoming quite good elsewhere, seemingly on a regular basis, it's not seemingly, <laughs> uh, how long before they figure out the player development and recognition is severely lacking and do something to change this? That comes from Scotty Boom Boom in the 618. Uh, wonderful text, tip of the cap. I wish we had a prize or I was giving away money to Today because it's kind of a deep dive caliber text uh, and I, I there isn't anything I disagree with that you present I would say I suppose at this point O'Neill and Hicks uh, and Shelby Miller being three and O as a middle reliever more outliers as far as small sample size if you're talking about the middle of the season and O'Neill's an MVP candidate and Hicks is a Cy Young candidate then you got a different conversation there um, but there are plenty of other players at this point that we don't just need to uh, say well O'Neill it's early Hicks it's early yeah it's a huge issue and to me I, I don't know I, I, I want to make an analogy, but it would sound political, and I, and I know that that probably wouldn't be. There are bigger issues oftentimes, I feel like, than some of the issues that wind up causing people to vote certain ways. Do with that what you want. Yeah. Oh, I hear what you're saying there. So Bill DeWitt's spending and John Mazalak's vocabulary and bow tie slash combination with a cardigan thrown over the shoulder – are, are are the are the red meat yeah. they're your new york post headlines but that's to me act not really the issue because bill DeWitt's spending is in line with being in the top 10 in major league baseball and actually above the cardinal market size and in line with what had been the team's revenue before the uncertainty on the television uh 60 million 
John Mazalek's personality, people didn't like Tony LaRusso's personality up until they won a pennant in 2004, and now he is revered as, oh, well, in the LaRusso days. So a, a coach slash general manager slash manager slash owner becomes likable when the team wins. It's not really an, an eye-opening observation, but just to give you some relative recent history, there you go. What has been an issue, which has led to the team falling short of expectations, is the assessment of the player's talent while they're here and or the player's lack of development while they're here to the point that they part ways with them in whatever way they do, trading them away, not signing them, uh, DFAing them. And then the player goes to another organization and not only becomes valuable, like, say, one that rarely gets brought up, Lane Thomas, in exchange for John Lester. I still, I, I, I'll go off on a tangent here, but I, I looked at that and people go, well, I mean, you didn't see what John Lester did. Great. He's in a tree stand by mid-October. It didn't matter. Why were they trading Lane Thomas? Well, he was blocked. Blocked? Well, then that makes it sound like there were three guys who were valuable to not be in. And now he's a regular who produces in Washington. I just don't get it. We excuse these things to justify it, but the talking point that it's accepted is we crap on John Mazalock because people don't like him, which really is he's, he doesn't, he didn't like take over one cardinal way. He works for someone, but you don't like the way he talks down to people, or you don't like what he wears, or you don't like his vocabulary, that he still works for someone. And that guy doesn't get as much of the of the complaints. I, I, so what the question becomes is why does he have the latitude? Why does he have the rope that he has for what clearly has been about a decade, almost a decade of moves where you go, what in the world? Yeah. That, to me... That's the issue. It's it's going to get, if you post about it on Twitter, Facebook, or wherever the hell people are doing things to get likes, Instagram, YouTube, God bless. You talk about, oh, they don't spend. Okay, that's fine. They have a $200 million payroll, and we're in St. Louis, you know. And I'm not saying that to, to mock St. Louis. I'm saying it, it because the revenue stream here is not going to be similar to most other franchises that are spending $200 million. In addition to it, you might not like it and go, well, he's a billionaire. It doesn't matter. He should just lose money. It's not the way it works. It's not how you become a billionaire. You have a, a significant portion of your revenue that is questioned right now with that television situation, as do all franchises, which is probably why Jordan Montgomery fired Scott Boris, because he was told he was going to get one paycheck and he got a totally different different one. The issue here is the assessment of the player's talents, and then they part ways with them, and then many of those players have gone on to kill, which means the player development here sucks. So that's the issue. So talking about John Mazalak and not liking him, and talking about the Cardinals not spending money, red meat. It's going to win you elections if there were elections in sports talk radio and podcasting and the Twitter tweets. It would win you elections. But that is actually not the issue and why the team is flopping around in mediocrity. Your thoughts are welcome. 314-399-9646. Air Comfort Service text line. This is Balloon Party 101 ESPN. This weekend, Major League Baseball is back on ESPN. Tomorrow, Dodgers and Padres Game 1. First pitch at 8-10. Sunday, it's Game 2. First pitch at 6-10. The MLB plays on 101 ESPN. Huge hail sale at Travers of Fallon, Missouri. Come visit us today while it lasts. Spring is right around the corner, and it's the perfect time to consider refreshing the outside look of your home. More than just gutter experts, gutter pros and exteriors can help you get the curb appeal of your dreams. If your vision includes soffit, fascia, or siding, call today for a free estimate. Free gutter cleanup is included with every leaf protection purchase. Visit gutterpros.com to learn more and fill out an estimate request form. Gutter pros and exteriors provides a no-high-pressure sales approach to help you find the right solution. Gutter pros and exteriors. Water goes where we tell it. Munganess, St. Louis Acura, and Munganess Burkhard Alton Toyota, presenting sponsor of Balloon Party on 101 ESPN, the place I go to get my cars. And right now, they have an incredible selection of new vehicles available for you. Check it out online at stlouisacura.com or 
Go to altontoyota.com and work with the best. And the best is Munganas St. Louis Acura and Munganas Burkhard Alton Toyota. Kelly Tire is your hometown tire experts for tires and auto service. But did you know there are over 20 locations in St. Louis and Missouri? When you bring your car to us, we'll take care of it and we'll take care of you. Telly Tire, driving your way since 1942. For more than 80 years, Telly Tire has been the best place for tires and auto service. And right now, get great deals on tires and service with rebates on select tires, wheel alignments, and check out our wild card special. Plus, don't miss Telly Tire's newest location in Crevecore. I'm Dr. TJ from the Institute of Natural Health. I'm inviting you to check out our show, Wellness 101, every Sunday at 7 a.m. right here on ESPN. On Wellness 101, we talk about how to optimize your health as well as all things health-related. We discuss how to take control of your health by being your own health advocate, and we offer practical tips for you to become the healthiest you possible. On Wellness 101, we cover topics like optimizing hormones, thyroid health, gut function, cardiovascular health, sexual health and performance, and many more. So join Aaron and me every Sunday for Wellness 101 at 7 a.m. on ESPN. April is here, and with springtime weather, it's important to have quality windows if yours won't open to let in the fresh air. Maybe they won't seal tight to keep out the pollen and bugs or have been leaking water all winter. Then it's time you talk to the experts at Window Nation right now. For every two windows you buy, you'll get two windows free. There's no limit to how much you could save. You could save even more with no interest or payments for 24 months. Window Nation's windows come with a lifetime warranty and can be installed in one day or less. With proven quality and service when you buy from window nation you can rest assured you'll be getting affordable windows that meet or beat the ones from the national brands don't miss out on your chance to afford quality windows with an unlimited buy two get two free plus zero interest for 24 months you can't afford to wait you can also get a house of windows you can get a pair of st louis cardinals tickets it's easy just call 866-90-NATION or go online and visit them at windownation.com to schedule your free in-home estimate Dear road rivals, let's talk about extra. Toyota offers tons of extra with Toyota Care. Our no-cost maintenance plan good for two years or 25,000 miles. No-cost oil changes, no-cost tire rotations, no-cost fluid level adjustments, and more. That's a whole lot of extra at no cost from Toyota. Nissan and Ford charge extra for maintenance. And that's the kind of extra nobody needs. Try harder. Toyota. Based on manufacturer's data as of 319-2024, covers normal factory scheduled service for two years or 25,000 miles, whichever occurs first. See participating dealer for coverage details. We all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? Whether it's the irresistible, cushiony softness of Charmin Ultra Soft or the superior strength and absorbency of Charmin Ultra Strong, either way, you can't go wrong. Congratulations to Luke Tanner from Fenton, Missouri. He was just named our 101 ESPN Blues Fan of the Week. Submit your pick now at 101ESPN.com to be the next fan of the week. Taking home blues tickets and a $50 Buffalo Wild Wings gift card. 101 ESPN's Blues Fan of the Week is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Official member of This Bar Bleeds Blue. Presented by Bud Light. We're back to the balloon party with Tim McKernan and Action Jackson on 101 ESPN. Driven by Munganast and Burkhard, Alton Toyota. Welcome back to Moon Party 101 ESPN final segment for the week. BK and Ferrario from 11 to 2 and then the fast lane from 2 to 6 pregame here on 101 ESPN as the Blues try to keep the playoff hopes alive as they take on the Hurricane 6 p.m. pregame 101 ESPN. That is what we've got for you here the rest of the day on the program. Why, Jackson, why are you giggling? Are you <laughs> sitting on a Sibian again? <laughs> it's, uh, put away, it's, quit tickling me, Tim. Uh, no, I... Um, you said something funny in the break, and it really... All I said was Peter Malnati, Sunday Charge. But you, like, rubbed your hands. <laughs> you, like, rubbed your hands, and it was funny to me. And so I really... <laughs> it really made me giggle, and it kind of hurt my back when I... What? I mean, really you're hard. 26 years old. <laughs> the last time that happened to me in the studio is when I was reading off the hockey names, and I kept butchering them, and... That, it was, was, a, that was a very unfortunate And it was incident. really funny, and it was actually the closest I've ever been to wetting myself on the air. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I've got because when I come in here, I you wet yourself. Well, we come from TMA right down the hallway to sure. here, and oftentimes I do not have time to use the restroom, yes. and I'm just chock full of black coffee and water. Nice. And so it really, I really have to pee, but I'm able to hold it because if I don't break the seal, I can hold it pretty long. 
And uh, that day, I remember very coming very close to wetting myself. Like I didn't want to read great. another That'd name. Be wonderful, that could happen because that would make wonderful sense for the name Little Piddles. <laughs> yeah, it would bring the truth. reason why I'm talking about Peter Malnati in the Sunday Charge, the University of Missouri golfer who won the Valspar a few weeks ago. Uh, I, I build out rosters. Essentially, I, I light, what I do is I light money on fire yeah. on a daily fantasy site. Um, and I, I don't know what I built. I built like 10, 11 rosters this week. And I have a roster with uh, the leader, currently tied with Max Homa, DeChambeau, the guy who's probably going to win this thing by four strokes. You know, I don't really want him to, but I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. Scotty Scheffler. Uh, Will Zalatoris, who's tied for ninth, Matthew Fitzpatrick, who's tied for 16th, and Taylor Moore, who I imagine most of you have never heard of, uh, who's tied for eighth. And it could win me a million dollars, except I've got Peter Malnati, who's out there flopping around at plus nine. And we were just looking at the cut line, and now plus five is 28%. So I need a Peter Malnati <laughs> Sunday charge. Can Peter Malnati play the back nine and four over par or four under par? He can definitely do it in four over. No, I have no, 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 doubt. no doubt that that's possible. <laughs> so, oh, I mean, I'm telling you, if those five guys, and if I would have gone with, I mean, I'm not going to do well with it. So, uh, anyway. Birdies on the back are tough to come by. Just tough to come. 16, 16, if uh, the pin's in the right spot, can be a, a birdie hole. It's 13 and 15 for bombers, but yeah. Peter Malnati would not Ooh. fall into that uh, category. Uh, let's see what we got here, Jackson. Uh, holding your pee can cause erectile dysfunction, Jackson. That's from the 314. Is that true? I, I, mean, I, I know you, uh, you majored in medicine, but got into sports talk radio. Right, right. Well, I was... Uh, yeah, I wanted to be more in the uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Tim? What's the word I'm looking for? I chiropodist. I was I was I was in school so, to be what a, word? A chiropodist. I have never heard that word. It's uh, f- fans of Seinfeld will know George had to oh, take. Oh, see, his, I didn't watch much Seinfeld. Uh, they, George had to take his mother to the chiropodist, which I believe is just a foot doctor. Another word for podiatrist. Got a it. different form of podiatry is a chiropodist. Um, but yeah, I've also urology was kind of what I was also thinking, uh, but chiropody. Uh, I want to make sure, and that's uh, that. That's that helps explain so much on the program. Uh, going back to the cardinal discussion, which I activated people, um, and you know what I'm always doing in here: engagement farming. <laughs> you look at you up early. I like how you have brought that term to the mainstream lexicon. That's that's it goes on all the time. Is that right? All I guess it time. probably does. Oh yeah. And it's been going on for a long time. It just didn't have like a real name surrounded around it. And now people are aware that hey, that's some engagement farming. Uh, there's a famous uh, gif from the film Mad Max Fury Road, good, of Tom Hardy pointing and saying that's bait. That's a popular right. gif I see when engagement farming comes on. I see. Yeah. An engagement. Just give an example. Give me an example. Give me a. Give me a, an April twelfth, twenty twenty four example of engagement farming for the audience. Uh, I know this is going to be a controversial opinion, but I just don't get the hype around the Godfather. Nice. Because that's timely. Just gonna, that's just the film just released, of course. Fifty two uh, years ago. Uh, so so how about this? Tell me if I'm engagement farming. I know a lot of people say that Scotty Scheffler is just as dominant as Tiger Woods was as of late, but I just don't get it, and I don't think he's going to win. Yeah, that's both engagement farming and straw manning, because who the hell's saying he's as dominant as Tiger? I, that's a double shoot. That's a double shoot. A double shoot. Yeah. Okay, I like That'd this. That'd be impressive. I wouldn't mind I seeing mean, that. I essentially you're calling out our entire industry. Uh, yeah, I mean, but, they, but the industry's kind of called itself out. <laughs> yeah, we're the clowns. You can't make fun of the circus if you're a clown. No, you can. You just be furthering your clown status, and that's what we're doing. Clown like status, one on one ESPN. That. Yeah. Ooh, can we change the name? I don't see why not. We've done it like eight times. Uh, Jackson needs to work on his Kegel exercises. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, yeah, boy. Sounds like you do as well. Preaching to the choir. Um, all right. Uh, so on the on the conversation, I'm not a DeWitt is cheap person, but he absolutely could have given out a payable contract for Montgomery, and this team would be better off. That's from the three and four. Couldn't agree with you more. Couldn't agree with more. And we're not doing the results-oriented, hey, what about in November? That was there because the market that Montgomery wound up signing for in Arizona uh, was not there mm-hmm. in November. I mean, you can say, well, you don't know. I, I'm very confident that, that Montgomery and Boris were not taking a one-year and all the little incentive opt-out. Yeah, Cody Bellinger totally. set the stage for deals that we saw Snell and, and Montgomery signed for. But when Montgomery signed... 
Now, anytime we talk about these things where I complain about Goldschmidt and Arenado not being traded last year at the deadline, uh, and if you want to complain about Montgomery, there is, uh, you know, a piece of information that we don't know. Specific on Goldschmidt and Arenado, they have no trades. Yeah. They could have said we're not going anywhere. And specific on Montgomery, and I believe it was Buster only who said Montgomery did not want to return to St. Louis. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how could the Cardinals, you know, handle that situation? I mean, John is out, well, we were interested in Montgomery, but he doesn't like the, you know, lack of nonstops from Lambert. Uh, you know, uh, so that, you know, that's, that's possible. You know what I think is interesting? But I, as far as the texter, the 314 who sent that in, could not agree with you more on that. Yeah. Uh, on the attendance stuff and the, ties into Montgomery. If you remember two years ago, 2022, af days after the trade deadline, Jordan Montgomery started against his former team, the New York Yankees. That's right. It was a one nothing Jim Dandy. And that was the highest attendance Bush Stadium 3 had ever seen. Is that right? Two years later, we see the lowest. And just, not, just for the record, it's not the lowest attendance ever. It's the lowest for a night game Got at it. Bush Stadium 3. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so there's night game. But there was never a higher attendance even in World Series right. games, then and that, that was what August 22, August 22, just days after the trade deadline. And granted, that team featured Albert Pujols and Yair Molina, and they were good. They were a division winner. But in just two years, you're seeing such a wide range of attendance. And I don't know if it can just be said that it's the on field. I think there's a lot of different moving parts in that situation. I do. I do agree with that. I really do. I mean, it's it's real simple. Think about you know each individual situation. I'm talking. To our audience, uh, and you're going okay. Whatever it's going to cost, everybody's family situation, or it just might be, you might just be a guy in your 20s who's gonna, your buddies want to go to the game. And you're going okay, God, it's gonna be, you know, I live in St. Charles, I live in Belleville, got to drive in, gotta, maybe I might have some booze, so I'm gonna Uber, mm, whatever, it's yeah. gonna park, whatever the case might be. Okay, it's gonna cost this. God, it's gonna be boring. Oh, it's Kyle Gibson. I don't know if I really want to Lance Lynn. I don't know. I think Goldschmidt isn't hitting anymore. Arnado isn't hitting anymore. I don't know. Especially on weeknights, too, where people got to get up and work the next morning. So, I, I mean, that, that makes sense. But I think, I just, I keep going back to my number one is the television situation. Yeah. Because the television situation is what cultivates the fandom. Because even, you know, I mean, as crazy as this sounds, and I know plenty of you who are listening, you remember this. You do not because you weren't alive for it. When a Cardinal game was on TV in the 1980s, it was kind of a big deal. Home games were not on TV unless it was a national game. So... If, 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 for a few decades, we have taken for granted that every game is going to be on television. And now, somehow, in 2024, we've taken a step back that I go, okay, I'm going to watch a Cardinal game. Oh, crap, i got to use the app. Oh, God, i got to sign in. No BS. My sister's wedding this past Saturday. We get home from the wedding. UConn and Arkansas is about to start up the second half. I'm like, oh, let's watch it. I'm obviously not at my house. We're out of town. I, there were, I've never seen so many channels on a television because I'm a YouTube TV guy. I've never, I go, oh my God, there are 1,500 channels now. I've been out of pocket just streaming. Holy crap. On zero of the 1,500 channels was the final four competition available. <laughs> so the next thing I know, I'm just watching a box score to update on ESPN. Mm. In 2024, yeah. what the F's going on out here, Jackson? Uh, TNT. It's uh, moving. All right, it's time for us to go. Uh, it's oh, time to head to the Dogwoods and Pines of yeah. Augusta National. Uh, for Jackson Burkett, I'm Tim McKernan. This has been Balloon Party on 101 ESPN. Take the Fast Lane home weekdays from 2 to 6 p.m. with Anthony Stalter, Jamie Rivers, and Gary Davis on 101 ESPN. Two former pros and one.